Earlier this month, the South Dakota Department of Corrections agreed to purchase 320 acres of land in rural Lincoln County for a new men's prison. Some residents of Lincoln County now raising concerns about that proposed site. Parker Brown has more in our top story tonight. Parker, good evening. Good evening, Andrea. The proposed site leaves a lot of questions yet to be answered by the state. Residents at Tuesday's county commission meeting were able to raise their concerns to local leaders, but ultimately the state made the decision with land it was already in possession of. Shelly Walters is a resident who lives just one mile away from the proposed site. Many residents in the area don't want the prison nearby. Walters agrees, but she also doesn't want to move if plans go forward. She grew up on this property and was hoping to pass it on to her son. They wanted to keep it in the family, and now we don't know. We might have to sell it just to stay away from the prison, start a new place. <laughs> Walters says that residents were blindsided by the news, leaving them asking why the site was picked and why they didn't talk to nearby residents. No, we didn't even know anything about it. All of a sudden it just came up out of nowhere for all of us residents. It's been a shock. I knew it was state land for a long time, but I never knew it was ever going to be a prison. That's the weird part. <laughs> County Commissioner Mike Poppins has tried to answer what he can, but ultimately the decision to use the site was the state's to make, and it came as a surprise to him, too. The only thing we heard was through state legislators initially talking about the fact that they were looking at Lincoln County, Minneapolis County. The impression was they were looking for areas along Interstate 29. It is a surprise that they would pick a site that doesn't meet some of the criteria that they initially had indicated that they were looking for. The site still has plenty of infrastructure needs, and the state has yet to share plans with the county commission. Residents are concerned with more traffic to the rural area, as well as property values going down, and most importantly, safety. I heard a lot of these same issues, and I, I'm not going to say the state's absolutely wrong on it. They just have to do what they can now to make sure that they do everything possible, minimize the impact, especially the negative impact, into that area. Residents are planning on attending the next commissioner's meeting on Monday to make their voices heard. Stick with Dakota News Now for future developments with this story. Andrea.